The vision of Fort Coquitlam is to be happy, vibrant, and a safe community with healthy and engaged residents. We are guided by the values and principles of accessibility, diversity, and inclusion for all members of the community. The art installation provides a space for reflection, an opportunity for dialogue while fostering inclusive and community pride. The Pride Public Art Project provides us with an important opportunity to build on these values, deepen relationships, and create a visual marker of the presence of our LGBT2Q2 plus community. The process of developing this project has also been inclusiveness. In the fall of 2017 and the winter of 2018, the city's arts and culture staff engaged the community to provide input on approaches to the public pride art project that resonated with the LGBT2Q plus community. We held focus groups with the city's youth services, Coco Youth Group, Empower Fraser, Riverside Community uh, Riverside Secondary School, the LGBTQ2 plus youth group, and PLEA, Geno Tri-Cities. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our wonderful community and the selection committee who reviewed all the artists' proposal and chose our current artist, Steve Bayless, to create this beautiful piece of public art. I would like to thank our previous arts and culture coordinator, Carla Mahal, for her work to bring this project to fruition. On behalf of Port Coquitlam City Council, thank you for joining us today. Please enjoy the art, the music, and the possible. Thank you so much, Councillor Makura. I'd now like to invite Steve Bayliss, the artist who is creating the Pride Public Art installation, to say a few words about the project. Born in Port Coquitlam, Bayliss is an internationally recognized visual artist whose work has been exhibited in both local and international galleries. Thank you all for being here today. First, I would like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is within the traditional territories of the Quaquillam First Nations, and I am privileged to have my art displayed here. Thank you to the City of Port Coquitlam for giving me the, this opportunity to create this piece of art. In particular, I would like to thank Carrie, Leslie, and Robbie for your support and assistance in making this all happen today. Thank you to the volunteers to our sponsors, Opus, Art, Supplies, and Long McQuaid, and to our talented musicians, Kimordo and Pardo Panther. Lastly, and most importantly, thank you to all the members of the LGBTQ2 plus community that have helped collaborate and support this project. This project is not about me. My concept is to create a space that honors and celebrates the LGBTQ2 plus community. This area is a place we should all feel safe, welcomed, and celebrated. There are two parts to the project. The first part is the mural under the benches. It represents the pride flag, which wraps the space to form a visual arena or stage. To the left is the transgender flag made up with light blue, white, and pink. The second part is the colored tiles. They are a symbol for having the confidence to be different, to stand out. The next step is for the community to paint the tiles with me. I'll pro be providing free workshops using a fun and easy process I've come up with. Anyone who doesn't mind getting a little bit messy can paint a tile. You can sign up at the city's website and the workshops are at the end of August. In a moment, I'll go over to the finished tiles and for those who are interested, Please come over and I'll explain in more detail and answer any questions. Thank you all for being here today and celebrating this day with me.
you're at ease, it's him and I'm lost again. Holding on to the hurt, don't know how to let go. Try my best to talk it out, but it always rears its ugly head. The closer. Oh!